morning, everyone. Good morning. This morning we pray him 276. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And we shall praise your name. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord has truly risen. Alleluia. Come, bring out our joy to the Lord. Hail the God who saves us. Let us come before him giving thanks. With songs, let us hail the Lord. The Lord, the Lord has, has truly risen. risen. Hallelujah. The <coughs> mighty God is the Lord, a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth, the heights of the mountains are his. To him belongs the sea, for he made it, and the dry land shaped by his hands. The, the Lord, Lord has, has truly risen. risen. Hallelujah. Come in. Let us bow and bend low. Let us kneel before the God who made us, for he is our God, and we, the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. The Lord, the Lord has, has truly risen. risen. Alleluia. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice, had in not your hearts as at Meribah, as on that day at Massa in the desert, when your fathers put me to the test, when they tried me, though they saw my work. The Lord, the Lord has, has truly, truly risen. risen. Hallelujah. For forty years I was wearied of these people, and I said, Their hearts are astray. These people do not know my ways. Then I took an oath in my anger, Never shall they enter my rest. The, the Lord, Lord has, has truly risen. risen. Hallelujah. Glory <coughs> to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. The, the Lord, Lord has, has truly, truly risen. risen. Hallelujah. Pray him 276. <coughs> he is risen, tell, tell the story, story to, to the, the nations of the night. Of the night. From, from their, their sin and from, and from their, their blindness, blindness let them walk in Easter light. light. Now, now begins a new creation. creation. Now, now has come our true salvation. salvation. Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Mary goes to tell the others of the wonders she has seen. John and Peter come a-running. Oh, what can all this mean? O oh, Rabuni, Master Holy, to appear to one so lowly. Jesus Christ, the Son of God. He has cut down death and evil. He has conquered all despair. He has lifted from our shoulders all the weight of anxious care. Risen brothers, now before you, we will worship and adore you, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Now get busy, bring the message, so that all may come to know. There is hope for saints and sinners, for our God has loved us so. Every church bell is a-ringing, every Christian now is singing, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. <coughs> o God, arise above the heavens, alleluia. Have mercy on me, God, have mercy, for in you my soul has taken refuge. In the shadow of your wings I take refuge, till the storms of destruction pass by. I call to God the Most High, to God who has always been my help. May he send from heaven and save me, and shame those who assail me. May God send his truth and his love. My soul lies down among <coughs> lions, who devour the sons of men. Their teeth are spears and arrows, their tongue a sharpened sword. O God, arise above the heavens. May your glory shine on earth. They laid a snare for my steps. My soul was bowed down. They dug a pit in my path, but fell in it themselves. My heart is ready, O oh God, my heart is ready. I will sing, I will sing your praise. Awake my soul, awake lyre and harp, I will awake the dawn. 
I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples. Among the nations I will praise you, for your love reaches to the heavens and your truth to the skies. O God, arise above the heavens. May your glory shine on earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O God, God arise, arise above, above the, the heavens. heavens. Hallelujah. The Lord has ransomed his people. people. Hallelujah. O nations, hear the word of the Lord. Proclaim it to the far off coasts. Say, he who scattered Israel will gather him and guard him as the shepherd guards his flock. For the Lord has ransomed Jacob, has saved him from the overpowering hand. They will come and shout joy on Mount Zion. They will stream to the blessings of the Lord, to the corn, the new wine, and the oil, to the flocks of sheep and the herds. Their life will be like a watered garden. They will never be weary again. <clears throat> then the young girls will rejoice and will dance. The men, young and old, will be glad. I will turn their mourning into joy, and I will console them, give gladness for grief. The priests I will again feed with plenty, and my people shall be filled with my blessing. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord, the Lord has ransomed his, his people. people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is here, our God for ever and, and ever. ever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain rises in beauty, the joy of all the earth. Mount Zion, the <coughs> of the earth, the great king city, God in the midst of his citadels, has shown himself its stronghold. For the kings assembled together. Together they advanced. They saw, at once they were astounded. Dismayed, they fled in fear. A trembling seized them there, like the pangs of death. By the east winds you have destroyed the ships of Tarsus. As we have heard, so we have seen in the city of our God, in the city of the Lord of hosts, which God upholds forever. O God, <coughs> honor your God within your temple, your praise of God like your name, which is the ends of the earth. With justice your right hand is filled, Mount Zion rejoices. The people of Judah rejoice at the sight of your judgments. Walk through Zion, walk all around it, count the number of its towers, review its ramparts, examine its castles. That you may tell the next generation that such is our God, our God forever and always. It is he who leads us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. God is here, our God forever and ever. Hallelujah. A reading from the letter to the Romans. If Christ lives in you, then, although the body be a dead thing in virtue of our guilt, the spirit is a living thing by virtue of our justification. And if the spirit of him who raised up Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised up Jesus Christ from the dead will give life to your perishable bodies too, for the sake of the spirit who dwells in you. The Lord has risen from the dead. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory, 
The Lord has risen from the dead. Alleluia, alleluia. For our sake he died on the cross. The Lord has risen from the dead. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord has risen from the dead. Alleluia, alleluia. If you keep my commandments, you will remain Amen. in my love. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty <coughs> Savior in the house of David his servant. As he promised by the lips of holy men, those were his prophets from of old. A Savior who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us, so his love for our fathers is fulfilled and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father to grant us that free from fear and safe from the hands of our foes we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him. To make known to his people their salvation, true forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. If, if you keep, keep my, my commandments, commandments you, will you will remain, remain in, in my love. love. Alleluia. <coughs> Our Father, who art in heaven, no. hallowed be Sorry. thy name. Sorry, page 18. Oh. Lord, stay always with us. Lord, stay always with us. Let us offer our prayers to Christ, who rose from the dead and is living always in his church. Lord, stay always with us. Lord, you triumphed over sin and death. Be present in our midst with your eternal life. Lord, stay always with us. Come to us with your untiring strength and reveal in our lives the love and kindness of God. Lord, stay always with us. You alone can reconcile mankind and create a new spirit within them. End the conflict which divides our world. Lord, stay always <coughs> with us. Deepen our faith in your final victory. Let us find strength in the hope of your coming. Lord, stay always with us. Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And, and lead us not into temptation, temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Lord God, we were sinners, and your grace made us holy. We were without hope, and you filled us with joy. Stand by us in your saving work, and stay with us in your gift of grace. May we never fail to persevere in the holiness that comes from faith. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. And may the Lord bless us and keep us safe this day and evermore. <clears throat> and we now pray for vocations to the priesthood. Eternal Father, we thank, we thank you for every priest who has faithfully given his life for the salvation of his brothers and sisters. We give thanks for those priests who have brought to us your word of truth, the grace of the sacraments, and above all the supreme gift of the Holy Eucharist. Father, through your Son, Jesus Christ, who call the apostles to follow him, we ask you to raise up a new generous vocation to the priesthood in our time. Send forth the Holy Spirit to open the hearts of a new generation to your call and enable them not to be afraid, but to recognize the joy of giving the whole of their lives in love 
Through Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, your Son, our Lord, Lord who lives, lives and reigns forever and ever. And ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Good morning, everybody. The intention of the Mass is for the people of Sudan. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. <coughs> Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries you were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, by whose grace those sinners we are made just, and though pitiable made blessed, Stand, we pray, by your works. Stand by your gifts, that those justified by faith may not lack the courage of perseverance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After the discussions had gone on for a long time, Peter stood up and addressed the Apostles and Elders. My brothers, he said, you know perfectly well that in the early days God made his choice among you. The pagans were to learn the, God's, the good news from me and so we become believers. In fact, God, who can read everyone's heart, showed his approval of them by giving them the Holy Spirit, just as he had given to us. God made no distinction between them and us, since he purified their hearts by faith. It would not only provoke God's anger now, surely, if we were to impose on the disciples the very burden that neither we nor our ancestors were strong enough to support. Remember, we believe that we are saved in the same way as they are, through the grace of the Lord Jesus. This silenced the entire assembly, and they listened to Barnabas and Paul describe all the signs and wonders God had worked through them among the pagans. When they had finished, it was James who spoke. My brothers, he said, listen to me. Simeon has described how God first arranged to enlist a people for his name out of the pagans. This is entirely in harmony with the words of the prophets, since the scripture says, After that I shall return and rebuild the fallen house of David. I shall rebuild it from its ruins and restore it. And then the rest of mankind, all the pagans who are consecrated to my name, we look for the Lord, say the Lord who made this known as lo so long ago. I rule then, instead of making things more difficult for the pagans who turn to God, we send them a letter telling them merely to abstain from anything polluted by idols, from fornication, from the meat of strangled animals, and from blood. For Moses has always had his preachers in every town and is read aloud in the synagogues every Sabbath. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm. 
Proclaim the wonders of the Lord among all the peoples. Proclaim the wonders of the Lord among all the peoples. O sing a new song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord all the earth. O sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim, Proclaim the wonders of the Lord among all the peoples. Proclaim his help day by day. Tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among all the peoples. Proclaim, Proclaim the wonders of the Lord among all the peoples. Proclaim to the nations God is king. The world has made firm in his place. He will judge the peoples in fairness. Proclaim Came the, the wonders of the Lord, Lord among all the peoples. Please stand to greet the gospel. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Christ is risen, he who created all things and has granted his mercy to men. Hallelujah. <coughs> The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I've told you this so that my own joy may be in you and your joy be complete. The Gospel of the Lord. It is a curious thing about life that wonderful new happenings can also bring new problems. This was true for the post-resurrection communities who initially encountered the gospel within the framework of Judaism. As these Jewish disciples of Jesus proclaimed his marvelous deeds to all the nations, they attracted Gentile followers. But they then had to work out what to do with the Gentiles. How were they to be instructed? What practices were required of them? Through a process of discernment, the dilemma was eventually resolved in a manner that respected the unique situation of both Jewish and Gentile Christ followers while welcoming both into the one community. In our own day too, wonderful happenings bring new questions and inevitable tensions. Through respectful listening, dialogue and discernment, we may find a path that respects difference and fosters unity within the one family of God. Let us pray. God our Father, you take delight in each one of us. Fill us with your joy so that we may carry out, we may carry your radiant light and hope to all those who need your love and compassion today. Lord, hear us. We ask Mary to intercede for us as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, at the hour of our death. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truths, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to lord you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and never pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts. Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, your Son are in the highest. Your Son are in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending thy spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Mark our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, who blessed Joseph as spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may merit to be called to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form a divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <coughs> Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, <coughs> Peace I leave you, <coughs> my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take care of the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, 
and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, the Mass is ended.